With the defeat of Goro and Shang Tsung, Kano will bring his own brand of treachery to the tournament. His Black Dragon organization forms a monopoly over the contest that brings shame and torment to all of those involved. Their reign will end in anarchy and death. It will result in the final dismantling of the tournament and the Battle of the Sands. Marked for death years ago by the Lin Kuei, Scorpion was murdered by Sub-Zero. He left behind a wife and child in his former life, but was allowed to return and avenge his death. Even with Scorpion's triumph in the tournament and new title as Grand Champion, the price he paid was high. He can never again know his family and must exist forever with his secret curse. Raiden's victory comes as no surprise to him. He was never impressed by Shang Tsung's inferior sorcery, Goro's brute force, or the challenge of the other contestants. He quickly becomes bored with his mortal competition, and soon invites other gods to participate in the contest. The ensuing battles rage on for years, then the war results in our world's final destruction. Have a nice day. Through the battles and life or death situations faced during the tournament, Johnny Cage learns the true importance of his fighting skills. He also realizes the full potential of the tournament. He returns to Hollywood after defending his new title as Grand Champion. Cage goes on to film Mortal Kombat the movie and its many successful sequels. Captured by Shang Tsung, Sonya's Special Forces Unit was taken hostage. Their only hope was the tournament. Shang Tsung promised to release the entire team, only if Sonya could win the contest. Her victory not only released her unit, but also put an end to the Black Dragon and Shang Tsung's powerful grip on the tournament. After defeating Mighty Goro and putting an end to Shang Tsung's rule over the tournament, Kang is able to return the contest to its rightful hosts, the Shaolin Temples. Kang's heroics will be always remembered. He will continue the traditions of the Shaolin Temples and restore the true pride and respect of this once great tournament. After receiving the title of Grand Champion, Sub-Zero disappears back into the shadows from which he came. His only goal in the tournament was the assassination of Shang Tsung. He was paid a large sum of money by one of Tsung's wealthy enemies. With his mission accomplished, Sub-Zero will collect his fortune and retire from his dangerous profession.